What's up, Ant City, and welcome back to another episode of Nuzlocke Training. And today, we are finally getting to my boy Zenitsu. So if you don't know, if you haven't been keeping up with the channel, maybe this is your first video that you've seen of mine or whatever. Zenitsu is definitely my favorite Demon Slayer character just in the show and also my main in this game. So, of course, I'm always happy to have the opportunity to learn more about how to play him. So we're going to go ahead and get straight into it. All right. And once again, just like every other video, big shout outs to Mr. Alberonin for having all of these combo guide videos. That is pretty much so far. I've based every uh, combo and every everything I've been learning has been based off of his videos. So shout out to him. I'm, I'm going to link him in his channel and specifically the Zenitsu video down in the description and also the pinned comment. But without further ado, let's get into the combo. So the first thing uh, that he shows off is, let me see if I can do it right. So you do a full combo string, which again, I explain this in like every video, but I'll do it again here. So by full combo string, basically you see how he does that heavy sixth hit. That's considered the full, the end of the first combo string. So you do that. So once you get that heavy hit, you go ahead and just press Y or triangle by itself. Because one thing I actually was not a, uh, that I really didn't realize or like, I guess, take note of when I was playing Zenitsu before is there's a difference. So if you, oh, my controller battery is low, but if you just hit triangle or Y on Xbox, uh, he does thunderclap and flash prime, right? But if you hold forward and do it, he does normal thunderclap and flash, which is just a faster version, but it does less damage. I would always use the tilt version because I didn't realize there was that, like there's actually a bigger difference. I thought it was basically just the same move. So I would just kind of tilt out of habit. But there is actually a difference. You can tell by just like the animation and everything. And it just does more damage. So yeah. So uh, so if I'm saying Prime, you just use the y, the y or Triangle version. Or if I'm saying Normal Thunder, Clap and Flash, you just do the Tilt version, which is a lot faster and everything. So anyways, though, so you do one full combo string into Prime into your spin, which I think I did it wrong. I think I got to do it immediately. So let me try that again. So this, boom, boom. Oh, I cancel. Yeah, that's another thing with Prime. You can actually cancel into your spin. It does waste two meter though, so I wouldn't recommend doing that unless you just really want to fake out your opponent. Like you could do something like that, so you stay in front of them perhaps. Like maybe because if they're blocking, like let me show you. I believe if they're blocking, you end up just going behind them. Yeah, like that. So maybe you wanted to mix them up and then go stay in front of them. So you do the. Oh, hold on, let me reset. So you just do this, cancel into that, and then you could even go for the grab after that. Again, a lot of this right now that I'm showing off, I'm just kind of freestyling it, you know. But you could go for the spin to stay in front of your opponent. Just to like fake them out because they're going to expect you to be behind them. So yeah, you could just boom, boom. And then I don't think you have enough time for a grab realistically because the animation does take a bit. Like look, so if I just do a normal spin, it takes that long to go into a grab. So it is quite a bit of time, but honestly doing the spin might trip up your opponent enough. You do have to wait long enough though till you're near your opponent to really be able to do it. But... Yeah, it's just an option, I guess, but it's not really, like, optimal or anything. It's just, you know, I'm just kind of observing and showing it off. But anyway, so the combo he shows is you do this. So you go for that, do prime into the spin right away. Then you dash up, go like this, boom. And then you can continue the combo after that. So let's try to do it properly this time. So you go boom, boom. As soon as it hits spin, then you go up in the air, do this, delay. So the, the hard part about this combo is after that second Thunderclap and Flash Prime that I do, you have to, if you want to keep the combo going, you have to hit your opponent at the right timing. So basically, again, so so you do this, Prime, Spin, then you Dash, do all your hits, do another Prime, and then you see you can pick it back up there, but you have to time it properly. And it does a lot of damage, as you can see, because we're using Thunderclap and Flash Prime instead of just normal. I... I want to see if you could even just do it with normal thunderclap and flash. Probably. Yeah, you could. It, it, so if you wanted to use normal thunderclap and flash, you can. It comes out a lot faster, but you're obviously going to be getting less damage out of it. And that's the one thing with Zenitsu because uh, thunderclap and flash and prime are basically the same move. You can kind of switch them out. But, I mean, based on this combo, if you want the damage, definitely recommend just going for prime. Because, yeah, it's a little slower, but you're still going to hit it. So then delay. Yeah, you see, you can't delay too. The problem with the delay is you have to get the timing like perfect essentially because if you delay too like quickly or like not long enough basically, then you're gonna, you know, you're gonna miss the combo. But if you wait too long, then you're they're gonna hit the ground and be knocked down. So that's another bad part about it. 
Um, it's not really a bad part though, I shouldn't say, but it's just, you know, a difficult part of it. So yeah, then you go into spin. I think I did it wrong. One one way to tell if you if you did the combo wrong is you'll see the so when you do a spin, like so if I cancel this right here into the spin, it will actually start a red combo, which I, it it did it earlier. Uh, like if you go back to when I started talking about it, it did do a red combo. That's one that's one sign that you did the combo wrong. So yeah, just keep that in mind. But yeah, it is pretty hard to get the timing down though, I will say. So I'm gonna just try it out a few more times just to show it off. See if I can get it right this time. But this is actually a, a pretty good combo for damage. Yeah, and you see, you can't really continue after that though, but it does still do a lot of damage either way. So yeah, let's do this. Oh, I, I definitely waited too long to continue. All right. So let's do this. Boom, spin, boom, down. Oh, you see, you see how I press square right away? It made me go to the other side of him and miss him. So. Again, the, the one thing with this combo is you just have to get the timing down perfectly. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Yeah, like that. So, yeah, that's kind of where the combo would end. Um, I would rec uh, I'm going to try out a few things, though. See if I can maybe, like, find a way to get... So you see how I did the red combo right there? It's because I canceled too early into the spin. So, that's again, that's a good way to tell if you did it wrong. Um, so, then... I oh, yeah, that time I just used normal Thunderclap and Flash. I tilted by accident. All right, well, let's try this again. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, you see, I dropped it again. See, it is pretty difficult to get down, but there is an easier version, which is actually just like a variation on a combo I like to do a lot. So basically, after your first full combo string, instead of going for Thunderclap and Flash Prime, you can just go for the spin right away, like this, and then you just chase them up into the air, and then you and then you could do this, and then pick the combo back up if you want. But again, it is pretty hard to get the timing down for that. So a combo I like to do a lot is just this. You just knock them down, right? And then you just keep hitting them from there. You could even probably do a prime. Yeah, you could do a prime into that. But as you can see, you're not getting nearly as much damage. So yeah, you could even try to do something like this, which I think he also shows in the video. So you could go boom, boom, boom. Um, something like that. Just do like a bunch of thunderclap and flash. You kind of have to just, with Zenitsu, you kind of just have to... You know, see what you can combo into with him. Like, it's kind of... You kind of have to mess around with him a little bit more. So then, yeah. And yeah, I did it wrong there. One thing he also talked about is... When you do Zenitsu's grab... You actually can build up a lot of meter because your opponent falls down. Like, that whole animation takes a while. And you, you're able to build up a pretty good amount of meter. So... There is this one combo he showed off in the video, which I will show you right now. That um, leads into building meter, but yeah. Okay, so what he did for the the grab combo is basically a variation on the normal combo. So you just do this. So you go boom, boom, spin. So you basically just do the normal combo, right? I dropped it. Uh, but you do the normal combo, and then you end it off with a thunderclap and flash, then a prime. And they'll land right in front of you, and then you can go for a grab, which helps you build up the meter that you used on the combo. So let's go ahead and do that. So boom, 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 then... Oh, see, I delayed too long. You got you to gotta really get the timing down with this combo. But if you can do it, it does a lot of damage and is a very good combo. But, uh, yeah, it's just about getting the timing. Okay, here we go. And then you go boom, boom. Oh, I messed it up. But so, ba that's basically the gist of it there. Uh, maybe, maybe I should just try to do only one Thunderclap. Also, I could just do the spin variation of the combo here, right? So we go boom, boom. Pick it back up. And then boom, boom. As you can see, you see they land right in front of you. Then you can go for the grab, but you have to kind of, again, time that properly. And I actually think that I like that version of it better. So you just go for this into the spin because you actually get more combo time off of it. So then you do this into Thunderclap Flash, then Prime. Then they land right in front of you, and then you go for a grab. Again, I timed that wrong, but you get the idea. I'm going to I'm gonna do it again just to make sure I do it properly. I think that's the version I'm going to recommend, though, because... It seems like the be the easiest way to con connect into the grab. So yeah, you go boom, boom, bring them with you, and then they're gonna get up. I keep timing it wrong. Oh my god, I keep going for it too early. I'll get it down. I'm gonna do it over time. But uh, other than that, though, that's pretty much what he showed off for Zenitsu. Not like way too much. It's again Zenitsu just had some weird combos and stuff. So why did I time it wrong again? I'm gonna get it right once before we get into the online matches but that is basically it you can also uh pretty easily link into his ult and stuff like honestly the easiest way i've found is you just spin into the ult it's it's super easy like you just do that 
Uh, you can also use like the combos he was showing off. Uh, like, again, he he goes more into detail about all of this in the video, but uh, yeah. So I'm gonna try to get that grab combo going right now, and then if I get it here, we're gonna go ahead and head to the online matches with Zenitsu. So yeah, let's see if I can get this. Of course not. Okay, I'm gonna do it one more time. Uh, you know, what? I'll just put a clip of me doing it here, and then we're gonna get into the online matches. So I'll see you guys then. Alright, so it took a while, but we finally found a room here, and we're fighting against a Ren Goku and a Giyu, and I let him hit me. Okay, well, I think the main thing that I learned, though, about what I need to do with Zenitsu is start using Thunderclap and Flash Prime more often. Okay, I don't know what just happened, but I was hitting this Giyu. Block! I couldn't block in time. Let's get out of there. Ooh, nice. It's a little bit laggy. Okay, hold up. Get him down. All right, let's let him get up. Go for the grab. Oh, he avoided it. That was clean. That was a nice jump. That was a nice jump. What? What happened? What? Why did I move? I didn't think I moved. It's laggy. Oh my god, this match is so laggy, but it's fine. Watch this. Boom. I think that's gonna be the first round done here. Yep. Get him with the prime. Let's go. It is really laggy though, but. Yeah, like I said, though, I think the main thing I learned is I need to start using Thunderclap and Flash Prime more because the damage difference is actually pretty noticeable <laughs> from Prime to normal. Like, it, it's a pretty big damage difference. Not going to lie. All right, let's go. All right, get him up. Get him down. What? The, uh, the lag. I literally hit Triangle to do Prime, but the lag, it threw off the whole thing. I, I did click the button to do it, though, but then it's, it's just so laggy. But in a good match, that would have worked. Oh, nice heavy. But it's going to be a red combo, so we're okay. We're chilling for a bit. Unless he, like, ults or something. Ooh, he tried it. Back up. Got him. All right, let's try this again. Okay, got him. Oh, I, I forgot you have to time... <coughs> That's my, sorry. I forgot you have to time it. Honestly, timing that combo is going to be super hard in this laggy match. So uh, that might be an issue. Oh, I let it. Oh, I, I shouldn't have moved. Block, 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 block. Got him. Okay, let's go. I think we're good. I think we might win this round, too, off of this. We're going to try to time it. No, I messed up the timing because it's so laggy. Move! Inosuke! Okay, let's do Prime. Woo! Thunder Clap and Flash Prime for the win. Okay. Uh, this match is so laggy, so doing that... See, that's the one problem with that Zenitsu combo we showed off, is the match is so laggy, it's really hard to do, so... I think I'm just gonna go for the normal, just, like, spin combo. So, like, just do this, do a spin, and then just kind of get him to the ground, and then combo off of that, and then do a prime or something. I need to... I'm gonna figure out a combo like that for scenarios just like this, where the match is just so laggy, can't do any combo. Dodge him. I was actually trying to do a perfect block. Bro, the match is so laggy, Zenitsu just keeps dodging when I'm not telling him to. Like, I was literally holding R1, and why did he hold? What is wrong with you? Why would you? Okay. <laughs> I don't know why he did that. I, I, I probably misclicked, to be honest. I mean, he might have been trying to surge. I'm thinking about it, because he just did. He might have been trying to go for that, but then, you know. Okay, we're going to go into the ult here, honestly, because that, that might actually be GG, just the ult. The level 3 ult might kill here. Okay. If that kills, we managed to get the win, but oh my god, was this a laggy match. Uh, let's see if we do win. I think we might do enough damage. No, we didn't do enough damage. No, Grandpa, Grandpa didn't show up. So. Uh, means he still got some good health. Alright. Well, I think one clap for Prime should kill. Whoa! Okay, he, he hit me. Woof. Save myself. Perfect block, please. I timed it wrong. Block. Whoa! No! He hit me! Okay, we should be fine, though. No, 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 no. Get him off me. Woo! Oh, see, look. Like I said, a, a prime would have killed. I did a normal thunderclap and flash, and it didn't kill. Inosuke, please! Woo! Thank you! Oh, my God. The assist saved me. Okay. 
Okay, that match was super laggy. So, um, either way, though, as you could see, that combo does work pretty well. Uh, hopefully, like, in the future, though, we get some better rooms. Because I could have probably actually done more with that combo had the match not been so laggy. But we're going to end it off right there. So... Thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you're really liking this series so far and like this video specifically, you might consider putting this down into your favorites playlist and sharing it around to your grandma, your grandpa, your manager, your coworkers, wherever you want to share it to. And if you do attempt the normal Demon Slayer Nuzlocke challenge, which is the series I did before this Nuzlocke training challenge, uh, make sure you put the hashtag Demon Slayer Nuzlocke in your title, description, or whatever it is of whatever clip or video you post. So that way I can see it because I want to see if anyone else is going to take on this challenge and just see how they perform. But yeah, till next time though, I'll see you all later and peace. Have a good day or night, y'all.